My name's Lee Rayner and this is my 675 Haynes Hunter behind me. And a lot of people have asked why the Haynes Hunter? It's through necessity. My work is fishing, it's my life, but over the last few years we've been travelling further and further to get to great fishing destinations and I needed a boat just like this. If I could describe this boat in a nutshell, it's a point and shoot boat. Doesn't matter what the sea is, what direction you're going, it's all to do with the hull design. 21 degrees at the transom makes this thing ride beautifully. You just point it where you want to go and it goes. It just does it like it's on cruise control. You cover the miles quicker and you can fish in rougher weather. I'm really not a fan of rough weather, especially when the kids are in the boat. One thing I love about the 675 Offshore is how soft the ride is. I looked at a lot of boats before I purchased this one. I just kept finding myself at boat shows and at boat ramps and on the water. I would just end up back at this boat and it's all to do with A, the ride, but B, the layout. It is absolutely incredible and there's so many bits and pieces that make these boats what they are. The standard layout of the boat is absolutely incredible, but it also lends itself to a lot of customization, and that's what we've done with this boat here. Up the front on the dash, there is so much space for all the electronics you could ever want and need. The hard top carries all the stainless steel that you need. It's even got the big hatch, which gives you light, but you can also open that up and get air through the cabin as you need when you're fishing. There's everything from the lean post, which we use for rod storage when we're game fishing, through to fighting fish, and it's become an incredibly important part of our daily fishing routine. One of the major factors though in any boat is the side door, and I can honestly say I would never buy another boat without the side door, even just for loading your gear in and out, let alone pulling in that fish of a lifetime. Safety paramount, whether it's working or with the family. A foam-filled hull, a big open deck space so no accidents happen. We've got twin live bait tanks, there's 31 rod holders in that boat for storage and fishing, side pockets to fit gaffs and everything you need, and a big kill tank. All the things that you need to make your time on the water more enjoyable. When it comes to the seating, you want to be comfortable. You can drive this boat in any sea sitting down. You've got these beautiful big captain's seats. One I've got on a pedestal and the other one's on a big stainless seat frame. That way we can fit a big ice box under there so we can put all our food for a day's fishing. Up at the nose of the boat, you've got a very functional cabin. My kids love to just have a lay down in there while we're fishing, but if you're heading away for a night, you can genuinely have a proper sleep inside the front of that boat. Inside the bulkhead of the cabin, there's a large hatch that offers easy access to the boat's wiring. From a business, lifestyle and family perspective, this has been our best investment.